All Nobel Prize medals before 1980 were struck in 23 karat gold and weigh 175 grams on average. That's a hell of a lot of gold. So when the Nazis were taking over Germany, two German Nobel laureates, Max von Lau and James Frank, surreptitiously sent their medals to fellow Nobel laureate Niels Bohr in Copenhagen for safekeeping. Frank was proud of his Jewish heritage, and von Lau was an outspoken critic of the Nazis. It was a risky thing to do. Sending gold out of Germany was illegal, and if they'd have been caught, they would have likely been killed for it. So in 1940, when German soldiers had overtaken Copenhagen, Bohr knew that they'd be paying his lab a visit. The medals were inscribed with the names von Lau and Frank, and if the Germans have found them, they may as well have been inscribed with a writ of execution. With only hours or minutes to come up with a solution, Hungarian chemist working at Bohr's lab, George de Hevesy, suggested burying the medals. But Bohr thought it too risky, as a freshly dug grave for the medals would have been pretty suspicious. So as Hevesy wrote later, I decided to dissolve it. While the invading forces marched in the streets of Copenhagen, I was busy dissolving Lau's and also James Frank's medals. But being one of the least reactive metals, gold isn't easy to dissolve at all. The only thing that really can dissolve it is a mixture of acids called aqua regia. One part nitric acid, three parts hydrochloric acid. Still, it's a slow going process and I bet he was sweating while he was watching the colorless liquid turn pink then bright orange as the Nobel Noble Metal dissolved away. But by the time they showed up to ransack the lab, all that remained was an inconspicuous beaker placed high on a shelf. De Havishi had to flee to Stockholm, but when he came back after VE Day, he found that the beakers hadn't been fucked with. So he was able to precipitate the gold out of the solution and send it back to the Nobel Committee. The medals were recast and ultimately given back to Max von Lau and James Frank.